Good blessed it, uh, Saturday night, uh, January the, uh, 6, 2024. It's at about 1130, uh, p.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. Doesn't matter whether you're the richest or the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest or the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. Doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. Doesn't matter whether you like me or anything that I say or do. That's your prerogative. You have a first 14th Amendment right to the United States Constitution. Freedom of speech, freedom to gather, freedom to po uh, uh, protest, a freedom to associate, as long as you're doing this peacefully. In some cases, if you uh, on parole or felons, you don't supposed to associate with each other, but put uh, take that up with your lawyers. But I'm out here tonight. I always come out here at night or early in the morning. But I just want to let you all know, all of you all that's listening, especially here in Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County, and a lot of you women that helped at my uh, two youngest daughters mother when she had uh, an addiction and she had other issues that she needed you women to help It's another it's another female in this town need that help Lester Gillespie did doing her and her children's just like he did me in my household Him Lester Gillespie Susanna Westy Family Learning Center uh, the uh, Police Department, Robert Hearns, a lot of these preachers, a lot of these sellout blacks and a lot of these white supremacists, they did their best to try to silence my voice, but they can't. You see what I'm saying? I come from a family that was a military family. I grew up in an area that you would think it was Vietnam, Cabrini Green, and I survived it. I did time in uh, four of the most major uh, penitentiaries in uh Illinois, Pontiac, Stateville, Menard, and Joliet, places that Al Capone and gangsters did. Never been jumped on, never been beat up, never been in protective custody. Not saying I'm tough, but I sure ain't scared of you coward white supremacists and you sell out Negroes here in Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County, or nowhere in the boot hill. Y'all got a hundred years of racism, it remind me of of, 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 of of the Underground Railroad with them house Negroes helping the white supremacists hunt people down. But y'all watch this real careful. Watch how they did my wife and kids when they was little, Queen and Birdie when they was little, how they took advantage of their mother. She going to tell a story. I ain't going to tell a story. She going to tell a story some years later to let y'all know who it is. When she talk about the individual with voter fraud, she talking about Lester Gillespie. Y'all know he the one uh, that got convicted of the voter fraud. When she tell y'all about how he took other people in their addiction, men and women, giving them stuff for favors, and you know what the favors was. He doing the same thing today. This girl you going to see, Nicholas Pratt, tell Les Gillespie he committing a burglary and an assault when he trying to force his way into one of his rental properties with a female that used to work for him. She would, didn't want to lay with him. Prostitutes don't even want to lay with him. He said he don't even lay with his own wife. Men said that he laid with them for drugs. And dope dealers down, there used to be dope dealers, they said from 2007 to 2008, Lester Gillespie was using drugs. They said Rodney Jones was a drug addict, but him and Lester Gillespie, they on the zone committee here in, in Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County. Both of them got felonies, one a rape and the other one voter fraud, but they forget where they come from, but they misusing the black community. Y'all look at this here. That girl need help. I'm trying to help and I'm asking you women Look past you growing up with Lester Gillespie and Rodney Jones and Robert Hearns and Brenton Farrow and they money. Help this girl. Don't let her kids be like my kids or my kids' mother. May my kids' mother rest in peace. 
The prosecuting attorney was a part of it, too. Dan Kane is in the cemetery now. One of the judges ain't on the bench no more. Some of these cowards that tried to attack me let these stupid white supremacists and house Negroes send them at me. But they in the penitentiary now or on the run. Fed agents now. Watch these videos, y'all. Let's say this girl and that we don't know how many other people, women that lesser, less, 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 we them is trying to take advantage of. Peace. Is there anything else that you needed? I'm not leaving my property until we go together. Is there anything else? I don't even trust her with you. Is there anything else that you? Okay, why don't okay. you trust her with me? First of all, hold on, wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. You did. You did. This is my house. Stop. Stop. And you stop. own the house. Stop. Stop. stop it. Fred, Fred. Yeah. Okay, go on do what you're gonna do. I'm going to do what I'm doing. I'm taking a report. Yeah, and I'm gonna call Fred. I can call Fred. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that to him. Cause he ain't even done nothing. This is what you're doing. You can. I open that door because she's in the way. But you get on to everybody. No, you're in an assault. You get on to everybody. And a burglary because you can't go into your house if he's rented it to somebody. Let me tell you what happened, sir. Uh huh. You barged into the door. I seen it. Yeah, I, the door was open. Y'all stop. The door was closed. And she was standing right there. And I asked her, we coming in. You said she was there. Now we can do this. You can leave or you can go to jail with me. How about that? Sir, listen to me. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to I want y'all to take a good look at these pictures here. These pictures is of, of my two youngest daughters, Birdie Ivy and Queen Ramona Ivy. They was taken in July of 2008 in Chicago, Illinois, in Cabrini Green. You're going to hear their mother some years later telling you all how she didn't have to mention his name when she said convicted of motor fraud and Susanna Wesley in the police department. You will know one of the individuals that she's talking about is Lester Gillespie. Les Gillespie, Susanna Wesley Family Learning Center, the Mississippi County, Charleston, Missouri, 33rd Circuit Court judge back then in 2008, and some of the present ones today, uh, with the exception of Judge Dolan, uh, the prosecuting attorney's office, most of the people in City Hall, most of these black preachers and black leaders that they have today and had then, they took a part in trying to destroy me, a strong black uh, leader here in Charleston, Missouri. They came in my house on May the 19th, on Malcolm X's birthday, a little bit after midnight, 2008, uh, solely to come in here to take my children's wanted me to resist so they can kill me. The story was, when you hear my children's mother speak about Lester Gillespie and some of the police department and Susanna Wesley, they took advantage of her addiction. I was trying to get her help, like I try to get other females and males here in Charleston, Missouri in 2024 help. I'm telling you this story because my children was taken and Lester Gillespie and his family in the Susanna Wesley Family Learning Center and the judge that, that they let, that, that allow him to get away with everything, Robert Barker, that was a part of Susanna Wesley, Sheriff Brenton Farrell, uh, Chief of Police here, uh, Robert Hearns, uh, Rodney Jones and all the rest of these leaders that follow behind these people, they help take a, a, a female's children down here like they did mine. She need help. She need help today. You got, I got a video, one minute video showing on December the 7th, 2022 at 6.03 Lee Street here in Charles, Missouri, on the west side of town when uh, a sheriff deputy from the Mississippi County Sheriff Department, Nicholas Pratt, went over to that address and Lester came over there because it was one of his properties. And Nicholas Pratt, you can hear him in the video saying, you can't do that. He said, this is my house. This is my property. Nicholas Pratt said, 
You can't just burst in your property when you rent it to somebody. You committing a burglary in a battery. Nicholas Pratt knew the law, but he was just a sheriff deputy. His both Brenton Farrell, a white racist clan, uh, a white privileged, white supremacist millionaire, he made Nicholas Pratt. Take Lester out of handcuffs. But I'm telling y'all this story now. Look at how my children, when they came in my house on May the 19th, 2020, I mean 2008, because my children's mother was in her addiction and went out in the streets for 70, 72 hours and came back with the police. They took my children by gunpoint. The Charles Missouri Police Department. They took them down to the Susanna Wesley Family Learning Center, uh, so-called shelter for battered women. Now I'm working, taking care of my children's. We had a court date for June the third, but Leslie Gillespie, Susanna Wesley Family Learning Center, Robert Hearns in the Police Department, the prosecuting attorney. And some of these ra other racist Ku Klux Klans and some of these other sellout black Negroes, they got her money knowing she was in her addiction and got her transportation out of Charleston, Missouri so we wouldn't make the court date so I can prove that I was the fit parent. Children and Family Service didn't even get involved. And I took it took 70 days and 70 nights with my children in the jungle like this here. That's Queen there, y'all. That's Birdie. See how she holding that cup? She didn't know at the time her elbow was fractured all this time in the streets. Gone. See how she raising her arm up? You see this here? You see these, you see these two individuals? They watching my children for their mother. They exchanging Heron. Look at Queen them. See, the Underground Railroad, look at it. They, they seen, these people seen that some people was taking pictures of them. I'm way down in Missouri, but God had angels up there taking pictures for the court. You see what they trans, you see what they doing? That's Heron. Queen seen the people that was coming to help leave after they got the pictures, but she didn't know it'll be soon before she be coming back home. And I'm telling y'all this story for a reason because my children's mother, this is 2008, my children's mother going to tell you the story when we went up to Chicago to help her. She going to tell you the story in 2016. But let me tell you, this girl need help here in Charles, Missouri. You women that she said, women of God. Less than his family ain't concerned. Less the daughter, she ain't concerned. His wife ain't concerned. They concerned to trying to silence somebody like me, but they don't have that much power. I'm not afraid of them. I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid to go to nobody jail. They can't shut my mouth up. Less is a coward. He misused and abused women. It's going to come back on his wife and daughter. But I want to show you, what happened to my daughter when I brought him back down here 70 days later? This is 70 days later, y'all. You see what's on Birdie Arm? She been out in the streets. The doctor in St. Louis said she had been, her elbow had, she had an elbow fracture for a minimum of two weeks when I got her back and brought her back down here July the 29th. Of 2008. Took her to her doctor in Sison. They couldn't see what was wrong. That they knew something was wrong. Because she was in pain. I drove six hours with her in my lap. Taking a risk of getting arrested. Because she couldn't sit in the car seat. Comfortable. The next day. On the 29th. The doctor sent us to St. Louis. And in St. Louis. The female doctor. When she took an x-ray, she said her elbow had been fractured for a minimum. It could have been longer. Can you imagine my baby being less, just turned two years old? Just turned two and queen just turned three. 
and they out in the streets in Cabrini Green when it was still up. I don't blame their mother. I blame people like Lester. That's why I tell some of y'all when I talk about your family members, uh, Lester saying that they role models and they doing the same thing that my kids' mother was doing, they needed help. But if y'all think that's criticism, it's constructive criticism, but if you want your ch uh, uh, kin folks to continue to use drugs when Lester give them a few dollars for doing something, Susanna Wesley and them grant money, give them hundreds of thousands of dollars for, well, let them go ahead to the cemetery and keep on going to the penitentiary. But let me show you what we did for my children's their mother, even though I divorced her. That was their mother. That's why I fought so hard when my daughter was gone. I didn't want her to get caught up in here, in, in this system down here. Because ain't no black leaders down here but me. Lester Gillespie and them. You might as well go to the Ku Klux Klan because they going to kill you anyway. But let me show you what me and my children did. And then let me show you this here. Wasn't nobody charged with the abuse of my daughters. When I got them back, they had multiple mosquito bites. They was malnourished. They was dehydrated. You seen how dirty and filthy they was. You seen that they was being watched by drug addicts and drug dealers. That's what less to deal with. But then no, then nothing happened to none of them. But let me show you what we did. Now this was me, this was me and my two daughters did. We went up to Chicago. Susanna West and them didn't care about what was going on. They knew she was addicted to drug, heroin, and, 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 and crack. They sent on up to Chicago. They didn't care about Birdie or Queen. Y'all seen the way they was, the condition they in. You think Susanna Wesley give a doggone about the black community? We know Lester don't. We know Rodney Jones don't. We don't, we know uh, 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 Brenton Farrell don't. We know Robert Hearns don't. We know Bob Barker don't. We know the prosecuting attorney don't. We know City Hall don't, but we cared about her. We got her in the program. You see the date on that? That one there is 9-11-2010. We went all the way up to Chicago. We got her in a place. You see the date on that? That's 10-23-2010. Uh, we cared. Even though they took gave her my children's, I didn't blame her because I knew she was in her addiction. And that's what Lester Gillespie doing to this other female here in Charles, Missouri. He ain't going to do it to no black female. I mean, no white female. Because them people will find you. You'll find him hung in a tree. Them people will hang him or kill him. They let him move downtown in all in 90, uh, uh, just about 100% white neighborhood. They let him get that big old raggedy house next door to uh, uh, the police station for his daughter. They let him go a couple of houses down, but that's far as they're going to let him go. As long as he keep on doing the black community the way he's doing it. Let's save this girl, y'all. May my daughters and their mother rest in peace. Let's save this girl that's not from Charles, Missouri, who kids was recently took him because Lester Gillespie and his daughter and his wife. Because for Lester Gillespie, uh, the sheriff department and the police department. This girl is trying to work, but Lester Gillespie and his wife is going on his job, her job trying to intimidate her. Let's save this girl. Let's help this girl, y'all. I seen her in church today. She won't help. But she don't know who to go to. The police is working with Lester Gillespie. Not all. The judges is working with Les Gillespie. The sheriff department is working with Les Gillespie. And all these coward white supremacists. That's what I call y'all cowards. I'll stand up to all of you cowards to save that girl and to save other people that y'all misusing. Y'all don't care about this shooting and killing in the black community. But if they go over there and light up that hill house in the rest of them places over there where y'all live at. And if the shoe fit wet, well, I ain't talking about all of y'all. Yeah, I'm angry, but I ain't going to sin in my anger because God going to do y'all like he did Darren Kane. God going to do y'all like he did Barry Boss and Gail Easton and the rest of you cowards that been bothering me and my family. I ain't scared of y'all, but that girl's scared and I'm going to speak up for her.
Now, let's get let's be y'all come on my job. You and your wife come to my house and do like you did. Confront me like you did before by Lincoln School and see what happens. Come on. The police ain't going to be able to help you. That ain't a threat. It's a promise. On a Sunday beautiful afternoon at approximately 3 p.m., I am volunteering to do this video on behalf of Raymond Lewis Ivy and our two beautiful daughters. Less than 24 hours, the Cubs have clenched the Dodgers in the National League and on their way to the World Series. A beautiful feeling. But the best feeling is when I ask God, my ex-husband, Raymond Lewis Ivy, and our two beautiful daughters for forgiveness in all that I've done. Despite the fact that I've done wrong, he has forgiven me, my children have forgiven me, and I've forgiven myself. In saying that, the things that are going on in Charleston, Missouri, against my ex-husband, Raymond Lewis Ivey, are false. Some of the employees of the Charleston, Missouri Police Department, the Charleston, Missouri R1 School District, and some of the employees of the East Prairie, Charleston, Missouri, Susanna Wesley Family Learning Center are accusing my husband of things that are not true. I apologize. It's really disturbing to think that the people who have pulled and are doing things in receiving government finances to do things that Mr. Raymond Ivey is doing for free in helping others as myself, men and women, for free. In my addiction, I've done things that he's forgiven me for, my children have forgiven me for, my family has forgiven me for, but most of all, I've forgiven myself. The things that are being accused against my ex-husband are absolutely false. With no doubt in my mind, I know for a fact that it's not true. There's, to think of a person that has taught me things, I apologize, it's just disturbing to know that someone from Susanna Wesley Family Learning Center has something to do with all of this. The accusations that he's going around grabbing little kids, telling them that he's a rapist, that Raymond Ivey is a rapist and a child molester and a pedophile are absolutely false. And it make, makes me very, very uncomfortable to realize that this person is a board member of the Nutrition Center of the Financial in saying that, I apologize, it's very disturbing to even think that those kind of things are going on. Some of the employees of the Charleston, Missouri Police Department, I've seen for myself because I was a victim of their corruption. I was one of the ones that they convinced to go against my husband at that time to convince me to go and grab my children against their will because of the things that they thought he was, which he's not. So in saying that, some of the employees of the Charleston Police Department are corrupt, along with some of the employees of the Susanna Wesley Family Learning Center. This one individual has been convicted in 1998 for voter fraud and cannot vote to this day. So, due to all the corruption that he's had a part of, he's going against my ex-husband, which should not happen. And so, with that being said, he would come along with people of, uh, in my addiction and other men and women and, and offer them a dollar, a can of beer, to vote for him, which was, at that time in my addiction, was fine. He also had, you know, offered other things to men and women in, in our addiction that you don't do for nothing, you know. That's the kind of man that he is, you know. He's uh, a liar, a cheat, a fraud, as you know he's been convicted of. In saying that,
I would just like to say that to those who are listening and watching this video, to please support him, because he's doing a wonderful job to support Raymond Lewis Ivy in doing what he's doing best, helping others, bringing unity back to the community for free. Again, some people, as the person that I've mentioned, not saying any names, but I'm pretty sure you guys may understand who I'm talking about, are getting federal government finances and are not doing a well job whatsoever. So in saying that, the things that, are, that Raymond Lewis Ivey is doing is godlike. He's a Christian, he's an ambassador of Jesus Christ, and he's a major help to people of, of my kind and other kinds, men and women included. Children as well. Children, I used to live in Charleston, Missouri, that was my ex-husband. And children looked up to him, came up to him and asked him and for advice and just like gathered around him. So for, for people to accuse him of things that are not true is appalling. And he's also a civil rights leader, along with Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, even Obama are fighting for our kind. And with saying that, I really, really appreciate those that are viewing this and those that are listening to this to continue to support him in all that he's doing, because I am. Thank you.